And so we're about to see Evolution vs. God released, the Comfort family's latest money-making idea. Ray Comfort has long been exposed as a liar, thief, deceiver, video editor, plagiarist, whatever you want to call it, a very dishonest man. That would make him a hypocrite if he believed in God and Jesus, but he doesn't believe a thing he says. Ray Comfort is a salesman, and he has teamed up with an actor, and the two of them play their parts to fool sincere believers into funding their lifestyles. What is it that Jesus said regarding rich men entering heaven? What did he say concerning people who accumulated wealth on earth? More simply, what do you think of people who claim they are preaching the words of Jesus and doing his good work, but are in fact taking money off people less fortunate than themselves to line their own pockets and increase their own wealth? What about people who turn it into a family business, where no one contributes to society, but simply extracts money from the poor and pumps it straight into their family accounts? What about the comforts? Living Waters Publications' older accounts can be seen for free online at GuideStar. Let's just look in detail at 2011, which is the most recent online accounts. Total income? Hell, all that money going into a church must be doing some great work as it's redistributed to the poor and needy, don't you think? Salaries, etc. Who's included in that list? Well, declared family members earning over 100k as Rain Man, $102,000, Emile Zvain, his son-in-law and co-host, $132,000, Daniel, $115,000. The amounts paid to the other declared family members must be below the 100000 threshold for reporting, and they include Susan Comfort and Jacob Comfort. Now, Camrolio Productions is Kirk Cameron's acting fees of $140,000. $1,000. Kirk Cameron has a reported wealth of $20 million. That might be exaggerated, it probably is, but so is any claim of Kirk's that he has been saved by Jesus. Cameron could never work another day in his life, live off the interest of his investments and preach the gospel for free, but he would rather extract money from Ray's followers to increase his bank balance further. He will not be getting into heaven any time soon. What else do we know? We know that the total compensation to disqualified people is $1.2 million. So let us tot up the pay of the master. Compensation of key employees, $427,000. Compensation to disqualified persons, $1.2 million. Other employee benefits, $169,000. Payroll taxes, 133000 Travel, 136000 And don't forget Kirk's, 140000 Grand total, $2,210,717. That's right. This <coughs> charity spends $2.2 million on pay and benefits, 489000 of which is directly to Rainman's family and the multimillionaire Kirk Cameron, with at least two other comfort and family members benefiting directly. But so what? It's a charity. So what about the good work it does? Well, I leave it as an exercise for you to hunt through the accounts to see if you can find any sizable charitable work this organization is doing. Ray Comfort is a proven liar, plagiarist, evidence manipulator and hypocrite. He doesn't believe a word of what he preaches. If he did, he would be quaking in his shoes. And nor does Kirk Cameron. But they both pray fervently that you keep believing, so that they can continue in the pay of the Master.